the Vale Valley. That's kind of a cool new song. The artist is, uh, the name is Shade, spelled S-H-A-E-D. I'm always into the A-E because reggae has an A-E at the end. And of course, I'm the reggae guy. I hope you caught the show last night, One Love Music. If you missed it last night, it'll be back on on Sunday night at 10 o'clock. If you're planning on going down to the Showdown Town concert in Eagle Town Park for the final Showdown Town free concert of this year, it's, uh, it's going to feature music by a duo from up in the Fort Collins area, Shovel and Stone, also with ties to Austin, Texas. And they're actually here right now in our Go Fast Energy Lounge. It's uh, Zach Thrall. Welcome, Zach. Hey, thank you for having us. And Mackenzie Willox. Welcome, Mackenzie. Thanks, man. Um, tell us about you guys. I know, Zach, you're a local guy. You grew up here. I called your name a bunch when I used to do the games for uh, a battle, um, when Battle Mountain would play against Eagle Valley in the uh, cross-county rivalry football game. It seemed... I think it was your senior year. It seemed like you made like every tackle for the Devils. <laughs> so and then so that's what and that's what it said in the, in the daily too is that you know we kind of all know your name from then from football and then you went on to play some football after that too in college, correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think one of the big things is that uh, you know being from the Vale Valley, there, there's not there's not a whole a whole ton ton of people that go off and play you know football. The, right. The Vale Valley is more known for skiing and snowboarding, which right. which I did a lot of, but. Uh, um, you know, I was I was bigger than everybody, so I was I was good at football, and and you know I really took a lot of pride in it, and so I, I worked 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 my butt off, and uh, and got got a college scholarship for it. So that was and where was that at? I'm um, University of Northern Colorado. That's what I thought. Yeah. Where's that? Is that Greeley? Greeley, Greeley. Okay. Yeah, it's a beautiful beautiful school, beautiful campus. Um, you know, and I had, I had such a good time there. So. And now, but now you guys did not meet in Greeley, did you? So, so it actually has UNC did, yes. football ties. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you just keep rolling, man. Tell yeah. us the story about uh, how you guys met. Yeah. So, uh, um, I played football in high school as well. Even though I'm half the size of Zach. And uh, you, my, you weren't the the big defensive lineman like actually, you. Actually, I, I played linebacker, so one step up, but yeah. I still have half He's the wondering. size of it. You were um, one of those fast, quick, smaller. Yeah, outside, LBs. not up in the center. I was not up in the center, <laughs> outside linebacker. But um, my my good friend, probably best friend, he um, he was our star running back, and so he got a full ride to go to UNC and play football. Okay. And um, so I would go over to Greeley because. We were from Fort Collins, so it was just a hop, skip, and a jump, you know, right over to Greeley. So I'd go over there and hang out with Josh. So you're originally from Fort Collins? Yeah, okay. yeah. I'm a fifth okay. generation native to Fort Collins. So oh, okay. So my wow. family's been there a long, long time. Man, yeah. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know how to leave. <laughs> that's five generations. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. Yep. All right, so keep going. Um, So I would just kind of go Did over Did you play music back then? Uh, yeah, I've played music. We both played music for a long, long time. Okay. I've been playing music since I was 13. I think you read right around the same age, right? Yeah, so um, I'd go over to hang out with Josh, and Josh lived with Zach because they became friends at football. Sure. Um, and then Josh or, or Zach had a, a guitar, and I had a guitar, and he, we weren't even playing the banjo back then. But um, so we just kind of played songs, you know. Sure. I, I was making hang out, play yeah, songs, drink beers. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. do all the things yeah. that go along with that. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of how it started, and you know, and then we, we we became friends, and then we actually um, went up to the Terry Red Bluegrass Festival when I was 18. He called me and was like, hey. Me and my dad are going to tell your ride. <laughs> it's kind of a story. It's kind of a repeating story with you and I. He yeah. calls me, says, "Hey, come up and do this right now." So I quit my job. And <laughs> wow, went to the Red Bluegrass Festival, and um, haven't looked back since. Yeah, no, we, we kind of, you know, that was kind of when I would say we became like good, like friends, like good, good friends. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> then he graduated college and went and traveled the world. I mean, he can kind of probably tell you a little more about that. He went all over the place though, and then came back to Austin. That's where we re met up again. So. Oh, okay, okay. And then, and then you did some. You guys were in Austin for a while in that uh, rich music scene down there, correct? Yes. And yeah. then, uh, and then now, but now are you back located here yep. in your your original homeland? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're up in the front range now, and we're, we're playing a lot up there now. Um, you know, we're, we're starting to headline some some cooler venues up in Denver, yeah. and Fort Collins. And, it uh, seems like you're things are really progressing as of just maybe in the last mm -hmm. few months for you yeah. guys. Really, I mean. When we saw you were booked to play this final showdown town show, kind of raised eyebrows, or it brought you back into you know people's forefront of their minds again. And then you just released a single today, correct? Yes, yes, yep. sir. And now and tell us about a little bit about. And trust me, we're going to let these guys play too here in a second. <laughs> but there's a connection with. Um, will you tell me about it? The guy who produced your your new record. Yeah. And in Winter Park. Um. Yes. Yeah, so. So. You know, through through a little luck and a lot of hard work, we got we got hooked up with this uh, recording studio up in Winter Park, um, and it just so happens that the 
um, producer um, of this of this studio is the lead singer of the On Parsons Project, and um, so he's you know full blown rock star. He's traveling the world, wow. and, and when he's not traveling the world, he's uh, he's busy recording people up in Winter Park. Um, so. So, you know, we, we, we've grown a relationship with him and, and the rest of the guys up. It's called Eagle Wind Sound up in Winter Park, and we've grown a relationship with them. And, and P, his name's PJ Olson. He just, uh, he just won a Grammy. Um, and those are hard to come by these days, so I hear. Definitely, so, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Always have been. Yeah, yeah. yeah so they don't make a lot of those. No. <laughs> we're real fortunate to, to have that. And, you know, we've That's got, great, We've man. got four singles from the album out right now. Um, okay. Available, you know, anywhere you really listen to music. YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, you name it. Yeah. Um, and, and we're looking forward to the full album being out this fall. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, man. Like I say, things seem to be uh, kind of bubbling up for you guys. And then we'll talk more about uh, There's also this new uh, merchandise thing. I, I watched a video yesterday yeah. because I've been doing a little studying about you guys, right. so I know what, what you're up to. Uh, and we're going to play that new single, Smile, too, when we're done with all this. But we got like a half hour, so I'm going to let you guys jam a little bit. Yeah, right on, man. We're going to play a song called Same Old Song. Again, it's Shovelin' Stone right here in the Go Fast Energy Lounge at the Zephyr. <laughs> 